in there too. You know it. Okay. Let's get cooking. Our next guest is the author of Meat on the Side. She's also a mother of three. Say mm -hmm. hello. Uh, uh, she puts healthy twists on comfort food. Say hello to Nikki Dinky. Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hi. All right, Nikki. Okay, you ready? Let's see. Cauliflower. Mm -hmm. What's that? So we're gonna start with a cauliflower mac and cheese. This has got cauliflower and sweet potato, actually. And then a mushroom and beef sloppy joe. Mm. And that one's getting excited over there. But I'm gonna start over here if you want. Okay. And basically, I'm just adding to some onions and garlic, sweet potato and cauliflower. How do you turn this off? Yeah, yeah. let me get that going. There we go. We can turn it off. Yeah, because uh, it's already done. It's beef. Yeah, hello. There we go. We're going to get there. No, turn it all the way off because it's popping. I don't know how. <laughs> oh, there, I did it. I felt something. I am a chef. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so for this guy, we are going to get this all steamed up. And basically, it goes into a blender. We puree it up, and this is the base to our mac and cheese. So basically, I'm taking these, you know, classic comfort foods, enhancing them with veggies. We'll stay true to those original flavors. Okay. All right, so you can try that while I show you just what this looks like. You can see how quickly it gets really nice and creamy. And then you can mm. actually add your cheese right to there. How is it? I wasn't sure, but mm -hmm. now I can tell you. I mean, you know, just based on looking at everything. Yep. But this is very good. It's very good, and thank you. Yeah. You know, basically, instead of doing a whole cream sauce and a bechamel and all that fancy stuff, we're just doing pureed veggies, melting the cheese to it. And of course, then we've got five cups of veggies in here. And if you want, I got a little topping too. Let me move it over here. Mm. This is just some breadcrumbs, some oh, pine oh. nuts, and mm. a little bit of thyme. Whoop. Because I love the idea of a baked mac and cheese, that crispy mm -hmm. top. But I also like a creamy stove top, so it's kind of the best of both. What do we think? Good? Very good. Yeah, it kind of scratches that comfort for the itch. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. So, next. We've got some beef here for some sloppy joes. Now, as you can see, there's not a ton of beef in this pan. I so see. only about eight ounces for six to eight portions. What we're gonna do is we're gonna enhance mm. again the, with tons the, the, the of mushrooms. The breadcrumbs really do add something to the mac and cheese. And they're so easy, guys. You're just putting this in a pan, mm. a little bit of butter, olive oil, toasting it up, and that is it. Now for these, here, I'll turn this one off too so it doesn't get too excited. Mm -hmm. um, so for these, you can see that we are adding a ton of these veggies, the mushrooms, the peppers, the oh. onions, to our beef. Mm -hmm. You okay? Mm -hmm. Okay. <laughs> and then as it cooks down, it's gonna look a little something like this. I'll move you over here. That looks good. Are you gonna put red sauce in there? Oh, there it is. We're gonna do it all. So we're gonna do some tomato paste. We're gonna do some no. thyme. Mm. This is, not then, a, this is not a Jersey Sloppy Joe. It, well, what's exactly a Jersey Sloppy Joe? School mm. me. Well, it's got turkey. Okay. It's got ham. Okay. It's got, what else, Jers? Um, three levels of, um, three levels of bread, regular bread, not a bun. Okay. There's coleslaw in there. I don't think I've had this. Mm, they make a really good one at the Epis Essent in Livingston, mm -hmm. and they make a really good one um, over in West Orange. A place that I used to like to go. Sounds delicious. Maybe we can layer that into a Jersey Sloppy Joe somehow? No. Uh, <laughs> I'll look into it and come back with a Jersey I mean, Sloppy Joe. This is a good this Sloppy Joe. Good this is, a, this is a, the standard Sloppy Joe. Absolutely. And the reason that this gets so good is because we add in a lot of hot sauce to some tomato sauce. Okay. I've also got some Worcestershire sauce. Oh, well, now hold on now. Mm -hmm, some vinegar. Mm. And a little, because we want sweet and sour, uh -uh. a little molasses. Ooh. Not too much. That's enough. Okay. That's, enough. <laughs> That's all we're doing. And and this is really our sloppy Joe sauce that gives it that kind of, you know, silky, sloppy. Let me taste the sauce, just the sauce yeah, by itself. Yeah, you want to get wanna... a little bit of that? Yeah, I just want to taste the sure. sauce. I'm a sauce It's person. got that kind of sweet and sour from the molasses and the vinegar. It's got a little hot sauce. I use sriracha, but you can use whatever you like. No, you know what? The molasses actually does work. It's nice. It's got that richness. You know, I don't want sweet. I want sweet with attitude. Right? All right, can we use something else? Because I don't want to. Oh, yeah, sure, sure, I'm sure. I'm going to sure. give this, I'm going to share it with the crew, so I don't want to spit in it, you guys. No so. problem. There you go. So you can work on yours if you do want a taste of that. And as you can see, you're just going to stir this all up. I don't want and the bread. And think about, don't, you know what I mean? I'm just going to dip my uh, fork in here. Yeah, this is yours. Come on, or, you know what? Show. Here, 
if you just put some of that on top of here. Yes, of course, of course. I don't want to get too, too sloppy because you are looking absolutely gorgeous today. No, I'm going out for lunch with my niece, Alex. Okay. She's on the ABC News in Miami. Nice. And she's in town for speaking engagement. That's so awesome. she's meeting me after the show. I don't want to fill up. That's Absolutely. Why, crew, make sure you show this your love afterwards. I think they already have shown us some love backstage, so we're doing good. And of course, you can always <laughs> add some pickles, banana peppers, just mm. to kind of spice it up and break through any mm. of that sweetness. Mm. And remember, there's tons of veggies in here. So it's really a two-thirds Nick, veggies, half-third meat. The vinegar? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And that vinegar, spice, and a little bit of that mm, molasses. It's that sweetness with attitude. Mm -hmm. Nikki Dinky, everybody. For more information <laughs> on these recipes, go to wendyshow.com. We'll be right back. Mm -hmm.